The most asked carnival question in all of my videos is what foods should I eat for weight loss? The answer from the best carnival experts is just five foods, beef, lamb, eggs, bacon, and butter. And that's it. And if you're busy and you need to go, well, I'll see you next week for a meal plan with these five foods. But you know what? I would actually stick around because I'm gonna show you why you need to eat these foods and how much you need to eat. And by the way, if you're going, please share this video with your vegan and your vegetarian friends. The very first food is all things beef. And even our OG carnivores, Dr. Anthony Chafee and Kelly Hogan love beef. Well, I did exclusively beef for the first probably seven or eight months when I started. Okay. Beef is usually the best. I'll eat the same thing no matter what. But what type of beef do these experts actually eat? I'll have big steak. We have lunch, four to five ounces of steak, and I have a steak for dinner. Eat lots of fatty steak. I really don't like steak, but if you like it, that's okay. And if you've been following me on YouTube because you're a carnival fan, or even on the Five Minute Body Club, which really shows that you're an OG carnival, and the link is down below, you'll know I love my beef patties. And thank goodness Kelly Hogan thinks the same way. Almost exclusively burger patties for the majority of a decade. And you know on this channel how we validate things with deep, clinical research. Well, I just went on TikTok to check out some beef videos. Well, that was a waste of time. I think Gen Z gets the wrong information from TikTok. Well, I'm gonna go the old school way, Google and PubMed to get the right information about beef. And here's a quick highlight. So beef has loads of iron, zinc, selenium, vitamin B12 and B vitamins and biologically useful proteins. That was a bit of a mouthful, but you can find all the links for all these studies down in the description. Now, when it comes to the portions of beef that you should be eating, well, Kelly Hogan had this to say. They're still used to eating very small portions of what probably would have been appropriate steak before carnivore. You see, when you cut out the carbs, you have to increase the portion of fatty beef. And I know what you're thinking, how much beef should you be eating? Well, I'm gonna cover that in a minute. But you also have to add in some fat, like butter, which just happens to be number two carnival food that all of these experts eat and butter has some special benefits. The other one is CLA, conjugated linolenic acid. You may have heard of that. It's actually very protective against cancer and actually help people helps people with weight loss. You've probably seen CLA supplements. You can just get it by eating butter. So if anyone asks you about supplements, well, you actually don't even need any, except for this one thing, which is not really a supplement, more of an option and it's not the one supplement that you may be thinking that you use in the gym but i'll talk about that in a bonus number six but what about the vitamins and minerals in butter well dr berry says this vitamins and minerals abound in butter the most common of which are all the fat soluble vitamins vitamin a vitamin d and it's actually d3 in butter vitamin e and vitamin k yeah, that's the good vitamin K that you've heard about that, that probably protects you from osteoporosis and from cardiovascular disease. Now I know what you're thinking, all that butter is gonna make you fat. Well, that's a big fat lie. <laughs> and even Dr. Elizabeth Bright says, Fat doesn't make you fat. It's your body holding on to energy because you're, there's a stress issue. And there are so many studies showing that butter contains butyrate, which lowers your stress hormone, cortisol and I'll leave all the links in the description for your Dior or should I say D-Y-O-R. Now how much butter do you need to be eating? Well why don't we just let Dr. Elizabeth Bright tell us. We start the morning with a decaf with several tablespoons of butter. I snack on butter during my appointments and before I go to bed I have a piece of butter. I know most of you can't just eat straight up butter but I'm coming out with a meal plan next week showing you delicious snacks. So make sure that you subscribe and turn on the notification bell to check out that video. And butter is not just the only miracle food. We also have eggs, especially the yolks, not the whites. And I know that might seem a bit of a shock, 
but even Dr. Chafee says this. Some, some people that have autoimmune issues, they're, they're going to be more sensitive, especially when they still have leaky gut and they're still healing from that. And so they quite often will have problems with egg whites in particular. And there is a way that you should cook your eggs to minimize hair loss for you men and promote shiny hair, skin and nails for us women. But let's first chat about the nutrients in the yolks because it has more than butter. It has all of the fat soluble vitamins, which are vitamin A, vitamin D, E and K are in the yolk. There's none in the white whatsoever. Tons of calcium, almost all the zinc and selenium are in the yolk. Choline, which you may have heard is, is a lipotropic, which helps you burn fat. That's in the yolk, that's not in the white. So how many eggs should you have in a day? Well, Dr. Sean Baker, Dr. Ken Berry and Kelly Hogan eat loads of eggs. And thank God I caught that one because I dropped it 10 times. A dozen a day, 16 a day. I scramble eggs for my family every single day. So I just throw in five extra for me. Six eggs a day, that's about my routine. And if your goal is fat loss, well, this tip is for you. If out of my six eggs, I'll probably throw two of the whites away because I don't want to eat too much protein because it'll raise my insulin level and it'll make me try to hold fat around the middle. And now probably the most important part, how do you cook your eggs to make sure that you maintain all the nutrients? You shouldn't ask me because I have no idea how to cook clearly because I always spill my fatty latte. But Dr. Ken Berry says this, which is game changing. You want to have the white completely cooked, okay? Because the avidin, which is a protein in the white, if you don't cook that completely and inactivate that protein, it will bind up the biotin that's in the yolk and you won't really be able to absorb it. So you won't get that biotin. And so the best way to cook your eggs so that you have the minima, minimal hair loss and you have the maximum amount of biotin available for your hair, your skin, and your nails is over easy. So the conclusion is eggs are pretty awesome. But do you know what's even better? Bacon and eggs. <laughs> what the hell? I told you I was clumsy. Oh no. Okay, I really promise that I'm gonna clean this up, but you probably may have thought that bacon was really bad for you. Maybe because of the saturated fat, or you thought it's gonna give you cancer, or maybe the nitrates. But did you know that bacon is so good for you, and so is nitrates? In fact, it's been shown that nitrates can also help lower blood pressure, and angina. And even Dr. Ken Berry says the same thing. Your salivary glands, your spit glands in your mouth, they actually secrete more nitrates into your mouth per day than you could get from eating a pound of bacon a day. Nitrates are not bad for you. They're good for you. We saved the egg and this one is going to my neighbor's dog. So there is no wasting. But carnival food number five is lamb. Now listen, if you have a beef aversion, sick of beef, or you just want to switch it up, lamb is awesome. And even Michaela Peterson loves lamb. People are like, well, you just eat just beef for breakfast? Like either no breakfast or yes, or lamb. Dinner, beef or lamb. Lunch, beef or lamb. And did you know that lamb actually has high total calories, protein, fat, and higher quantities of healthy CLA? So you can choose lamb as a better option. Maybe than beef, but I would always choose beef, sorry. Now, do you remember right at the start, I was gonna help you figure out how much meat you need to eat. Well, I eat one pound of ground beef every single day. So for you, you could try 0.7 grams of protein per pound of lean body mass. But if you need help on an individual level, we also have the Five Minute Body Club. We have so many programs and meetings, Carnival 101, the 60 Day Fat Loss Program, and that is gonna help you understand how much protein you need to eat. And now for the bonus number six, which you can pair with any of these carnival foods, and it's iodine. Have you ever tried iodine? Because Dr. Elizabeth Bright recommends it so much, but let's see why she recommends it. Most people are iodine deficient. Well, it's an essential mineral that will obviously give you also the raw materials for your thyroid to make thyroid hormone, which is essential. It's the first hormone made in the fetus. It also provides iodine for the breasts, ovaries, uterus in women, and the prostate in men. So there's never enough because water is contaminated by fluoride, plastics are contaminated by phthalates and bromides and bleaches everywhere. So these are substances that are the same molecule as iodine, a variation of the same molecule. So the body won't take in the tiny amount of iodine that is in our diet. So Dr. Bright recommends two drops of 5% of iodine every single day. 
and I'm so excited because I'm speaking to Dr. Elizabeth Bright about two videos, Carnival Diet for Women and Carnival Diet for Men. So that's coming out in a few weeks. And if you've made it this far, you either love me, you love the experts, or you're just really bored. Either way, I'll see you next week for the meal plan video. Bye.